Good afternoon. My name is Scott Rudd, the Chief Strategic Officer at T3Live.com. Welcome to today's recap and look ahead. So what happened today? Today we had a gap up. Overseas markets were stronger. We had a pretty big range from Friday's lows to today's highs and we faded. What does that mean? Does that mean rally's over? Get rid of every single long you have and go away for the summer? <laughs> does it mean reduce some longs, clean up some loose stocks that you might not have commitment to? Maybe, considering that the oscillator was plus 44, we closed at plus 40, which is typically overbought. And that could mean that we could be in for a bit of a, a little pullback, you know, or packing and filling, whatever you want to call it. So we did get a few red dog reversals today. We got a few topping tails, um, just little signals to clean some tears up if, um, you know, you're in a little bit too deep. So let's just go to the charts. Here is the SPX. You have a little bit of a topping tail right through this prior high. Does that mean it's game over? No. But does that mean maybe, you know, market could pull in tomorrow or at least be down for the morning? Maybe. So anyway, you know, we've had a nice methodical move. Remember this little red dog reversal down here? You know, that was a long time ago in a land far, far away. That was two two, uh, 2034. And that was um, less than a month ago. So here we are, you know, 70 handles higher with what looks like a bookmark, you know, a little RDR. Not that extreme, but look where the eight day is and look where the oscillator is, so maybe you reduced a little bit. You know, here, if you bought the dip on Friday and you added on the breakout yesterday above this little 2105 spot, maybe you reduced. And now we'll see what happens tomorrow. Now the question is whether there are other signals that maybe we pull back. I'll tell you, high beta tech has not been acting special. I've been focusing on you know, Facebook and Facebook today actually, to me, if you take the name away from the stock, you would think there might be a short, um, which I am actually short overnight. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. Um, if you look here, you know, you have your, your, your gap support going sideways, you have the market making new highs, and Facebook turned lower. Could have been stronger, and it turned down. Engulfed the eight day, engulfed the 21 day. Good book says, you know, if you want to be short something overnight, maybe you'd be short this, and I'm short a little bit. Last time this happened was right here, and it engulfed it very fast. So um, I'm prepared to lose money short, because <laughs> I've been trying to be long during this whole time period, and now it closed like this, so uh, I'm in a tiny, bit, tiny, tiny, tiny bit short. The VTF will come up, and you'll see that, so we'll see what happens next. Um, Netflix was another one that I tried today. Uh, I tried a few times, didn't work. So I am out. I'm not short Netflix, I'm flat. But here is one spot where you could have bought it, then it hit its peak, couldn't hold this little three-day pivot, went below it, and now you had you know, a, a press a little bit above 101.50, and it closed red on the lows of the day. To me, that doesn't look like a long. You know, it might be a lower high for a little bit of weakness. We shall see, so I'm just avoiding. Um, then you have like a lot of, a lot of things kind of in tech look like this. Look at the cues real quick. Q's didn't make new 2016 highs. Not saying it says, you know, short the world, but you have a little diversion here where, you know, it, it didn't get above this range, didn't get above the, the highs of 2016, so tech is lagging a little bit. So maybe it's a trap, and maybe they want to call, catch all the shorts in tech, or maybe it's a signal that, you know, we could uh, correct a little bit. Or it might be just a day like this in, in this range. So we'll see. I'm, I'm short a little tech also, a little Q's. I'm, yes, I'm a little, Q's, you know, a little short. Um, so, you know, what about the banks? You know, the banks had a nice reversal. Let's look at JP Morgan. Um, you know, here was the reversal on that uh, Friday, a little bit of follow through yesterday. You know, couldn't quite get through the highs here. You know, um, we'll see if it, it hangs in this range. BAC, stock that got me good, got me good on Friday. Um, you know, here's the, the, the actual gap came off this turn lower. If you were to compartmentalize this, this looks a little weak. If the bears want to sink their teeth into a few things, they probably want to break Bank of America below 1419, which could add some pressure to the banks, but we shall see. It might just be a nothing. But um, this to me tells me that, you know, this little bounce off the moving average was short lived and we'll, we'll see what's next. You know, Apple, I talked about saying that uh, some guys looking to short it today, short it on strength. I know Cooper was short it. It did do a bit of a topping tail. Um, not saying it's the end of the world. It's the end of the world as we know it. Nope. This was uh, 
This was the chart I posted, remember, after this big move after reclaiming uh, 92.50, pulled in. This was your buyable spot, and now, boom, a little bit of a topping tail away from the moving averages into some resistance. So, you know, maybe it needs to pack and fill. So I would not be so long Apple, and if you were looking at a tactical cute little short, maybe you get a little bit of downside follow through here. The one stock that made my day, thanks to Ron Barron, was Tesla. It was interesting because I was sitting there at my desk, it was 710, and I hear Ron Barron's coming. I'm like, oh, I love that guy. He's a great investor. He goes over the long term, finds great stocks. He's patient. He's not a, a fear monger. He doesn't talk about how the world's going to end. He talks about 7% returns over time. He talks about big winners that could make 7, 8, 10, 10, 11, 12 times on your money. I knew he loved Tesla, and you know, I listened to him talk, and I started buying Tesla around you know, 221, 222. You saw that on the VTF. And then, pow. Even if you didn't, you know, here was that trade. I went over it in the Morning Call Express. Go look at it. Red Dog Reversal, follow through. I don't know if we continue to the upside, but I am along, uh, I'm along a little bit of uh, Tesla still. Maybe he tries to get back up to here. He uh, pleaded a really good case. Said the 50-day could be a little bit of resistance. It was, and now it's fine. But this was a nice, nice trade. Haven't seen something like this in a while where you get a little reversal and you could have bought it, you know, a few different times and made money. So I am long a little bit overnight. We'll see what happens there. Um, so I have uh, three shorts, one long overnight, which is the first time I've had more of a net short um, you know, portfolio versus a net long. Yesterday I came in with five longs. Um, Friday I was seven longs. Um, just, you know, whatever. So we'll see what happens. And I, the, the trend is higher, and I think that we still haven't made the highs in the year, but I think tomorrow could be you know, one of those days where there's a little weakness, at least to start. Look at oil. USO, looking strong, closed near the highs. I, I went over this trade yesterday, and if you're along the USO, congratulations. If you're along the XLE, congratulations. If you're along the OIHs, congratulations. You know, day ones lead into bigger days, and thank goodness this gave you a little follow through. It's great when you get follow through. XLE also, it's great when you get follow through. You know, that's what all you can live by as a trader. You know, and here it was. Boom. Hopefully you, you performed. UWTI, I put that chart on Twitter yesterday. And, you know, you can't really see how good it was here. But all in all, you know, you had day one and then it cleared. So if you were to be long something, oil still looks, you know, pretty strong. So in clothing, 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 <laughs> I'm kidding, in closing, um, you know, you're having these tactical moves. You know, the, the trend is to the upside. Does it look like maybe there's a little softness for tomorrow? We'll see. Do you have a few topping tails that if you've been long since the last few weeks, you want it to sell a little bit? Cool. Some things surprisingly are weaker than others, but we'll see if it's a trap or not. And some things are stronger. You know, if you're long things overnight, make sure you have a reason. If you're short overnight, make sure that, um, you know, you take your trade if it happens quick. Um, or, you know, see at least where you know, if sellers could stay in control, because sellers have not had any control. Sellers couldn't press the market on Friday. They couldn't press it yesterday on Yellen. Today, yes, we faded, but we'll see if they get any power for tomorrow. If not, let's flip some gears. Let's look for some longs. But for today, I don't see that many compelling things to, you know, be so involved in, in this low volume, uh, lethargic tape where there's not that much interest at this area. And that typically leads to a little bit of sideways, maybe sometimes down. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow.